Welcome to Bismart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. If you're new, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to give feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any topics you're interested in. Today, the functions I want to cover are extremely helpful when you're dealing with text transformation. Those functions are text split, text split any, and some splitter functions. We have a list of text. The content consists of the category of fruits and vegetables and the name of fruits and vegetables. We want to transform it into a structured data format. The challenge in the transformation is the inconsistent delimiter. Let's hop into the Power Query Editor, and I will show you what I meant. Normally, you would use the replace value, replacing the double quote to none. Then, you use the split column function to split the category by the colon delimiter. Again, you can use the split column function to split the name by the comma delimiter, but we want to expand the advanced options and select rows this time. With this method, you can only split the column with one delimiter at a time. Let's repeat the same process, use the split column function to continue to split the name by the semicolon delimiter, select rows, and then click OK to continue. This method can be quite a pain in the neck when the data consists of multiple delimiters type and inconsistent use. Check out the generated code. The split function applied in this case is split a split text by delimiter. Let me explain more about this and the text split function in a second and how can we use it effectively. Go to the add column tab, add a custom column, and then name the column a text split underscore split any. Type text split in the formula field and use the example column for the argument as it is the text we want to split. The second argument is the delimiter, type in the comma delimiter in this case. Preview the list. The text split function splits text with a single delimiter type. To split with multiple delimiter types, update the function to text split any as highlighted. Add more delimiter types as highlighted within the double quotes. If you need to split the text by colon with space, the text split any function will treat the space as a delimiter type. This is the downside of this function. Add another custom column and then name the column a splitter. There are various splitter functions. I am only covering the split text by delimiter and the split text by any delimiter functions. This is only one mandatory argument for this function, delimiter. Use the comma delimiter in this case. The splitter function syntax is slightly different. The input text is followed by the end of the syntax within parenthesis. Click OK to continue. Preview the second last item. I set the text within double quotes. The default quote style is CSV and won't split the text correctly. The quote is not available in the text split function. Update the quote style to the second argument as highlighted. Look at the result now, and the text splits correctly now. To split the text with multiple delimiter types, update the syntax as highlighted and add the delimiter within curly braces as highlighted. Let's add a few more delimiter types. The splitter function allows you to split the text by colon with space as a delimiter. Let us transform the data with the splitter function. Add a custom step and name it table to list. The first step is to use the table to list function, converting the table into a list. Add another custom step and name it split by delimiter. The second step is to use the list transform function and the splitter split text by any delimiter function to split the text. We want to split the text with multiple delimiter types and the quote style is none. There are double quotes in the text, so we can use the text replace function to replace it as part of the input. You need two double quotes to replace a single double quote. See highlighted value. Preview to validate the result. Add another custom step and name it list transform. The third step is to use the list transform function, converting the list into two groups. Start with an empty list. We want to use the list first function for the first group, category. We use the list skip function for the second group, name. Here is the list before we skip. 
We want to skip the first item on the list as it belongs to the first group, so we add one to the formula as highlighted. Add a custom step and name it table from rows. This step is to turn the list into a table, so we want to use the table from rows function. We can use the second argument to name the columns. If you see the syntax requirement stated any, the requirement is a list. Now type in the first column name, category. It will return errors as we have transformed the list into two groups. Type in the second column name and the problem will be gone. Lastly, expand the name list into new rows and we are done with the transformation. The split functions are crucial for data transformation. You must have a good understanding of how those functions work. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.